What is going on guys, it's Wolfa here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually had a, a crazy Emily clothing therapy event and apparently that was actually a hard event for her. I looked it up and I was like, what in the world is this clothing event? But apparently it was a hard event for actually hitting, what was it, eight hearts with her, which I think is maxed out. Yeah, it's maxed out until we actually, you know, make it official and start dating her as well as Shane and Penny at the same time, right? But I don't know if we're going to end up doing that with Emily. That's pretty good though that we hit eight hearts with her though. Uh, looking at the calendar here, there's nothing until the end of the month at the uh, the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Yeah, so we actually have a little bit of time and what I wanted to do this episode was actually go back to the desert. We haven't been there in a little while and I do want to go back there and, and try and, you know, get a little bit deeper in that skull cavern. We do have a quest to go down to like layer 100 or something like that. Don't think we're going to be able to do that. Is it this one? Yeah, this one right here. Unless we're like super duper lucky. Either we're super duper lucky or we have a bunch of staircases or maybe a little bit of both, but we only have three staircases on inventory right now. Uh, but yeah, it's something's waiting for us at level 100 right there and then prismatic jelly right here. Yeah, this is also another reason why I want to go to the skull cavern. So we have, you know, more slimes that we can come across and therefore more likelihood to come across this prismatic slime for the wizard's uh, special request right here with us doing four days, right? So that's going to be good. And a uh, bottle of truffle oil. Yeah, speaking of truffle oil and pigs and all that kind of stuff, last episode, we actually started upgrading the barn and now it's upgrading to a deluxe barn right now, which is really good. I do want to see if there's anything uh, I can stack up over here. Am I stacking up muscles? Oh, I'm putting coffee over here. Whoops. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's actually a good thing. Yeah, I need to keep the triple shot espresso in my inventory, though. Uh, oh, yeah. And then someone said uh, about the hops last episode, it was actually the gold star hops that you need to eat, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. 81 energy, 36 health compared to the regular hops that's over here. 81 energy, 36 health compared to 45 energy and 20 health. Yeah, I definitely see that. We have 40 regular hops right there. How much gold star hops do we have, by the way? Uh, do we? We have 44. That's actually decent. Yeah, compared to the uh, mushrooms right there, that's pretty good. I, I guess we'll switch that out, at least for right now, especially in the skull cavern where I'm going to need. Oh, yeah, that's energy, right? Yeah, it gives you a little bit of health. Yeah, still double the health, a little bit more than double the health there compared to the common mushroom. So I'll be able to heal up a little bit quicker and, of course, get even more energy quicker that way, too. Right. So that's going to be fine. I'm going to try it out this episode and uh, we'll see what that's about. And uh, yeah, we don't need stone, actually, to upgrade the shed. Uh, I believe it's just let me see. I actually have it written down over here. Yeah, 15,000 uh, gold and then 300 wood. Yeah. So we should be able to do that. And yeah, last episode, we actually bought and you can see Robin over here working. Yeah. Uh, last episode, we actually bought an auto grabber from Marnie, and I'm kind of thinking about buying that again just real quick before we go over to the glass desert or not glass desert. What am I playing? Stardew Valley again? Golly. <laughs> uh, before we go over to the skull cavern in the just shred up desert, I guess. Right. Uh, but over here. Yeah. So this auto grabber, we actually bought it last episode and it's grabbing all these eggs over here, which is really, really cool. And I do want to get the same thing for the cows and the goat and I guess the upcoming uh, pigs, you guys. So that's going to be really cool. So that's, all, that's actually what happened later on this episode, I believe. I think it only takes like one day to do that, right? But uh, yeah, let, let me actually get rid of all the, or not get rid of, but let me just do all the busy work real quick. Milk of the cows. Oh, wait, is that large goat milk? Oh, it is. That's community center item, you guys. Are we going to be able to finish? I think we're going to finish the pantry right now. Holy heck, I didn't realize that. Did I milk the goat? Uh, last episode, it was a large milk. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I do want to get some espresso, too. Don't want to forget about that. Uh, let's not get goat cheese. I know I'm going to get comments from people saying, uh, why, why did you turn it into goat cheese when you had a large goat milk? <laughs> but, uh, thankfully I noticed that before it actually happened, right? Oh, man, the fiber of it. Oh, okay, well, a little bit of the fiber's done right there. Okay, cool. You know, I did get a comment from someone saying, uh, just to let the grass continue to grow. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, just kind of leave that growing there so we get more, uh, hay for the winter time, right? So definitely want to remember that. Uh, and of course, yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing these batteries as well. Yeah, we have a bunch of melons right now and all those kegs. So we're not actually able to, uh, you know, process the coffee over there right now. I think it takes like an actual week for that. So like three or four episodes or something like that, right? So it's going to be quite a while until we're able to uh, get the stuff out of that. But once we do get the stuff out of that, we're going to get so much heckin' money. Was it 1,050 gold each melon juice or wine or whatever, right? Anyways, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we read this at the end of the last episode. Willie gave us a recipe for fish stew because we gave him a cool birthday gift for his birthday. So, yeah, let me, let me just go put up all the stuff in my inventory real quick. Oh, yeah, another thing. You guys said uh, around the workbench right here, it actually works in like a U shape. So I guess what I could do is I could I could put a chest where the workbench is right now. Put another one right there, another one right here. Put the workbench there and then another one there, another one there. So uh, if I did that, how could I orient this? Uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to let too much time pass in the background while I'm thinking over here, but yeah, that, that, that's something that you guys brought up, and I'll definitely have to think about that here in the future, but for right now, uh, my, my inventory is relatively empty. I just need to go put some stuff up out here, and then I guess we'll ride a horse over to the community center 
and uh, finish up that, that bundle, because whenever we finish up the bundle, uh, the Junimos, like, overnight are going to do whatever that they do. Uh, repairing something, fixing something, whatever they're going to do specifically. But, uh, oh yeah, I guess I'll put the common mushroom up at least for right now, because we're going to be testing out hops in the uh, the school cabin, right? So that's going to be cool. Just put the uh, triple shot espresso right there. Oh yeah, you know what? Another thing. Remember we got Miner's Treat or whatever? It was like a lollipop. I think it was a lollipop. It might have been something else. Uh, but it gives you like plus 20 or 30 mining or something completely insane. I kind of want to go go to the mines because I know we bought one from the dwarf. Maybe we can buy a second one from a dwarf. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. And then Marnie. I wanted to grab. I wanted to buy the auto grabber from Marnie again. Should I go do that real quick? Let's go to the community center. Just real. Look at Go inside. There you go. <laughs> I just mounted back on the horse right there. Golly. Uh, but let's go over here to the pantry. I think we want to finish it up, you guys. Yep, boom, there it is. Large goat milk, we've got it. Bundle complete. Oh, yeah, look at that, we get the greenhouse. I didn't even remember. Yeah, we get the greenhouse whenever we fix it. So overnight, the Junimos are going to fix up the greenhouse. Amazing timing. Holy heck, what do we get into the actual... Oh, another cheese. Ah, that's actually not too bad, I suppose. Uh, maybe that actually incentivizes me to get another goat, because uh, right now we only have one. Oh, look at that, the Junimos are back. <laughs> They're so cute, little like gelatin-looking jello cup guys. <laughs> Wonderful bundles. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and then they repaired the pantry. Look at that. Not only, yeah, look at that. They not only repaired the pantry, but the, the kitchen over here, too. I was wondering that. I was like, oh man, like, what was this room over here? There's no Junimo. I need to, like, a bundle I need to fix over there. But yeah, look at this. We basically finish off this wing of the house or the community center. That's going to be four out of six right there, you guys. We're two thirds done with the community center right now. Amazing. So we got the boiler room. We got this safe room over here. Uh, I guess if we were rich, you get that done like super duper quickly. But the bulletin board, I guess, is going to finish up the hallway over here. And of course, the fish tank over here, which, by the way, we're really close. We're just one fish away from finishing it. And we're going to be able to get it next season during the fall. I have it written down specifically in my notes. Catch the walleye fish in the fall slash winter during the rain in the lake from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Yeah, and we'll be able to get that fish. And that's going to finish up this bundle. And then uh, all we're missing after that is the bulletin board over here. Yeah. And if we go over here, I think, what is it? Chest bundle. Yeah, we're working on the truffle. We're getting the pigs here pretty soon. So we'll be able to finish that pretty soon. Apples. That's going to be done once the apple tree is done in the fall. Pomegranate, same thing there. And then rabbit's foot. We're probably going to get that here pretty soon. I guess rabbits are just randomly just going to lose their feet. It's just kind of like the ducks randomly lose their feathers, I guess, maybe. And we'll get a random ra rabbit's foot that way. So we're, we're kind of already working on that because we have two bunnies we got last episode or like two episodes ago or whatever. Right. Uh, but yeah, we're making really good progress over here. You guys probably in the next pff, five to ten episodes, I'd say uh, we're going to finish up the commuter center. This is going to be amazing, guys. But yeah, let, let me get back on the horse. It's still 1150 right now. Do I still want to head over to Marty's real quick to buy the auto grab? Because I know if I don't buy it now, I'm probably going to forget. And Actually, yeah, what is it? does the auto grabber milk them, though? See, I, I understand the auto grabber, you know, auto grabbing the eggs that are on the ground. But is the auto grabber going to be able to milk the cows and the and the, and, and, and the goat? And I guess also get the truffles from the pigs. However, that works. Maybe they're just going to have truffles in their mouths. I don't know. Or maybe, yeah, I guess the truffles are just going to be on the ground, kind of like a chicken egg or something like that. I don't know. I kind of want to look that up, honestly. Let me look up the auto grabber on the actual real wiki. The auto grabber automatically harvests milk from cows and goats and wool from sheep when placed in a barn. Okay, literally the first sentence on the wiki, it tells me right there. Okay, cool. So you know what? Should we buy that today? Because tomorrow's Thursday. Marnie's going to be available tomorrow anyways, right? So, and then, yeah, it, tomorrow we're going to go over there anyways to buy the pigs. So, yeah, I, I, I guess we'll just buy it tomorrow. It's not that big of a deal. Let's just go right now. Actually, yeah, uh, let's, let's go home real quick. Just right here. Uh, I do have that chest. Remember, there's a chest I wanted to take specifically to put inside the glass desert or not the glass. I'm, I said it again. The uh, whatever this thing's called, just just the straight up desert. <laughs> and we'll be able to put random stuff up inside of that. And then, uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to get the miners tree. So uh, let's ride the mine cart over to the mine area. And then I guess we'll buy it. Uh, grab the miners tree. We, we don't need to actually buy it because we already have it like literally in the chest like right here. Right. Because I never grabbed it. Uh, yep, there it is right there. So, oh, wait, no, plus three mining, but plus 32 magnetism. Yeah. And maybe I'll wait until I have a little bit of energy, a little bit of health down, and then uh, that'll actually heal up a little bit there, too. But while I'm here, do I want to come over here and buy another? I could buy another like one or two right now, right? I like I buy as many as I want because I'm going <laughs> to. You're not a spy sent by the shadow people, are you? Uh, Not last time I checked. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot to do his dwarf voice. I'm keeping my eye on you. There you go. I gave I gave him a voice right there. <laughs> I didn't remember to do that. And there you go. Okay, so yeah, do we want to grab anything else here? Uh, minus three, a thousand. Yes. Yeah, see, I don't think we have the recipe for that. So I'm like, maybe I can make that on my own. But maybe I'll get. How long does it last though? It doesn't say. I have two right now. 
Let's let's get another one. Three. I like three. Three is a nice round number. I know it's not 10, 20, 30, all that kind of stuff, but you know, it's a nice number in general. <laughs> so let's grab that. Let's go back to the bus stop. And I guess we'll just go over here and uh yeah, we have to go here and then yeah, buy a ticket for 500 gold. So yeah, don't want to forget to actually use this thing, but it gives you plus three mining, which I assume makes you uh you know, be able to break stones and stuff like that a little bit easier, which I guess maybe that means our gold pickaxe is going to be able to break stones basically like it's an iridium pickaxe, I assume. And it'll be able to break a lot of them at one hit, maybe. That'd be really good. Uh, but yeah, like, say, like, right here is going to be the perfect spot to put this. So there you go. You know, put a bunch of items inside there that I don't want to lose if I randomly die. I guess I'll keep that and just eat it if I really need to. Yeah, see, like, the milk pail, I don't need that. Master Slingshot, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to use it. So yeah, put that up, Golden Scythe, Iridium Rod. Uh, Steel Ho, I'll keep that. Yeah, no, I'll put that up. Steel Axe, yeah, same thing, yeah, you know what, yeah, just get rid of basically everything right there, golly. Uh, then the Miner's Tree, I guess I'll put that up there, 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 and then there. Then a Warp Totem Farm. Yeah, don't want to keep that on the hotbar, so let's, let's keep that right there in the staircase right there, and the Life Elixir all the way over there, just in case I ever need that, right? But for right now, oh, boom, we just immediately come across gold right there, you guys, cool. And yeah, I wonder, oh man, I hear a giant song. Oh, we got the dragon guys over here, all doing damage to me. Whoa. Oh, they're flying around. Oh, there you go. Yeah, remember we have the galaxy swords. So we're able to do a lot of damage to him. Looks like it was like bleeding damage right there. That's actually good. But yeah, if I had a bomb right now, that'd be amazing. I'd be able to. Uh, and by the way, what's that sound? It's like, I, I hear like footsteps or something. By the way. I, don't, I don't see anything actually moving around right now. It's kind of weird. There you go. Kill that guy. And I just split off into a bunch of little slimes. <laughs> and uh, we got some white algae right there. I could eat. No problem. I'm down to half health. I found a way down right there randomly. Oh my gosh, there's so many slimes. I don't know if there could be a uh, possibility of us breaking a big slime like that, by the way, by the way, by the way. Eat, eat, eat. And then, uh, six, six, eat. Stop emoting. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> I'm getting swarmed by the slimes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something's happening. They're going to get swarmed. Uh oh my gosh, the dragon guy's attacking. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Hold on, let me just keep spamming here. I'm just going to keep spamming. No, I'm dead already. What? Oh my gosh. Died on the first layer. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, waffle. Easy now. Take it slow. Oh, no, Harvey. Someone found you unconscious and battered. I had to perform an emergency surgery on you. Be a little more careful next time, okay? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I thought I was like, charge me a thousand gold for the hospital visit. Oh, my gosh. And I lost five items from my backpack. What were they? The hops? No, the hops. The triple shot espresso, not that big of a deal, the gold order. I, if anything, I'm going to buy the hops back from the adventures. I, I, I got a comment from many episodes ago, by the way. Where in the world am I, by the way? Hold on. Oh, there's like a whole cutscene going on here. And there's Maru in the nurse outfit right there. I didn't even recognize her. <sighs> I'm so sick of preparing these samples. Is this a Maru heart of it? Ow! <laughs> and then she drops it on the ground. What happened? Ugh, oh no, oh yeah, I've never come to the hospital, so I guess I've never gotten any, like, Maru heart events. <laughs> I've got a bunch of them stacked up right now, I bet, huh? The whole sample is ruined, Harvey's gonna kill me! Uh-oh, well, it's not my problem, I'm not the one who dropped it on the floor there, Maru, don't blame me. Waffle, what should I do? Just scoop it off the floor, he won't know the difference, tell Harvey it was my fault. Har tell Harvey it was an accident, ooh, what should I do? I feel like maybe this... I don't know. I feel like Harvey would understand if it was an accident, right? Like she wouldn't like he wouldn't like scold her or anything like that, right? So I don't know. I feel like Harvey's just such a nice guy. He wouldn't he wouldn't none of these would actually be negative. Yeah, you know, what? I really like Harvey's like attitude, personality, whatever you want to describe it as. I feel like he'd understand, like I said earlier, if, if she tells him that it was an accident, he'd be like, yeah, you know what? Things happen. Uh, I'm not going to get mad at you about it. But uh, hey, next time, be a little bit more careful. I feel like that. That, that, that describes what Harvey would do, right? Let's, let's do this one. Tell him it was an accident, because I don't want her to lie. Uh, well, I guess maybe that's, yeah, it's not really my fault. She's still the one that dropped it, right? So that's, that's kind of lying, and then, of course, that one's a blatant lie there. So I feel like this is bad, this is worse, but this is good. So let's do this. You're right. I should just tell him the truth. Absolutely, see, that's what I'm talking about. And then Harvey, he's walking over here, he's going to see the floor. Oh! Oh, what happened? I heard something break. Well, look at the floor there, Harvey. Something fell on the floor and, and it broke and it's all Maru's fault. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Don't worry about that sample. We'll just get another one. See, I see, look at that. I knew it. See, that's, that fits his personality. Even though he's like low on my list of like friendship or whatever, I know that he's such a nice, caring type person. He wouldn't like scold her or anything like that. Or unless she lied, I guess maybe then he'd scold her. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. <laughs> being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. <laughs> Good little pun there. So, by the way, is this the next day? Like, what happened? Like, what time is it right now, by the way? Because I died, like, at 2 p.m. or something like that. That's, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, that's necessarily a good thing. Of course, you've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you, says uh, Harvey about Maru. Oh, look at that. They both have smiley cat faces there. And then Harvey's like, what are you doing here? Waffle, you look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm like, you just rescued me from, like, dying in the heckin' desert, so I don't know if I'm fully patched up over here, Doc. <laughs> oh, and then I'm nervous right there. And then what? Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. We probably have, like, so many hard events because I, like, never come over here to the hospital. Uh, probably for both Harvey and Maru, so I get. I guess this is a Harvey, a Harvey Heart event. Golly. Ah, oh, Waffle, I was just about to write you a letter. Oh, yeah? What about? Maybe a love letter? You see, my records indicate that you're due for an animal checkup. Yeah, you know, I've been here for, like, two, two years, a year and a half, and I haven't had a checkup, so I'm kind of overdue here, Doc. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm getting a little sweaty. I'm getting a little nervous because what if something's wrong with me? <laughs> now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. All right, well, hopefully he checks up on me and gives me a clean bill of health. Hmm, okay. Hold still, please. All right, what's he going to do? Stick that little, like, popsicle stick in my mouth? Say, <laughs> yep, exactly. That's what I was saying. Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, okay, you can stop. Okay, jeez. I just need to check your vitals real quick. As I'm still wearing that, like, farmer's hat and sunglasses and stuff like that. <laughs> huh, your, your pulse is high. Oh, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Are you really a doctor? My pulse is fine. <laughs> um, Probably this, the one of these two right here. I feel like maybe this one. A little nervous. Uh, I feel like both these wouldn't necessarily be bad. Like, either one would work, but this one would probably be a negative thing, you know? See, I'm always, like, trying to read into these and, you know, figuring out which one's the best one. Hmm. Except for that one where I... It was, like... It was... it was. I thought it was an Emily Hart event, but you guys said it was actually a, uh... What was her name? Uh, Haley Hart event? I completely... Uh, if I knew that was a Haley Hart event, I definitely would have chose something else. But I thought it was an Emily one, so I did the wrong thing, apparently. So that sucks. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little... Let's leave this one. I'm sure he understands. I'm a little out of breath from working on the farm. <sighs> Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was talking about. What's he going to do now? Well then, you seem very healthy, Waffle. Oh, that's good. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. Hey, no problem, Harvey. Thanks. Clean bill of health. That's good. I wonder if there's a... Well, I guess this is a heart event. I was about to say, like, I wonder if there's a checkup where, like, ooh, he finds something wrong with you. Thanks for stopping in. But I guess because this is a heart event, it's just kind of a scripted thing, like the same thing he's always... Okay, I was about to say, is that another heart event? But no, I'm over here now. And what day is today? Or what day was earlier? I think it's the same day. It says it's 2 p.m. And I said I died at like 2 p.m. So I guess I'm good. So I guess I guess I need to eat some white algae or something now. And yeah, I lost the hops. I lost a little bit of gold and whatnot. And thankfully, I kept the sword and the pickaxe. Who knows what I would have lost if I you know, didn't empty out my inventory on that uh, chest, right? But yeah, I guess we have to go to the Adventurer's Guild, get my stuff back if I want to, right? So... I don't know. Do I want to do that, or do I want to just go home, grab some mushrooms, and just head back, or something? I don't know. Kind of want to do that, honestly. Mm. And then there's Demetrius and all them back there. Can I go into his room, by the way? Oh, I can. What's up here? Uh, nothing. Oh yeah, he's just living up there, I guess, right? So yeah, I don't want to spend too much time there, I suppose. And then there's Maru again, right there. So, anyways, yeah, it's two thirty. Time is a ticking. Uh, I guess we'll just go back. I didn't even eat the uh, the miner's treat, by the way. So yeah. Completely forgot about doing that. And I don't know if I want to get a life elixir right now. I probably should have eaten one in the, uh, whatever that was, the cave. But uh, a little bit too late to do that, right? Golly. I guess we'll just go home real quick. I don't have any coffee. I did lose the espresso, unfortunately, but it was like seven espresso. We could make like a billion more over here. No problem, I bet, right? But let's just go over here. I guess we'll grab... Should I grab some espresso, by the way? I don't know. I guess we'll grab the uh, mushrooms real quick. Then uh, go grab a little bit of an espresso over here because I've got a lot of yeah, C56 right there. I guess I'll grab a 10 or something like that. Yeah, there you go. Then uh, I guess I'll go to the Adventures Guild just real quick. Which, by the way, let's use the telephone because people commented, uh, hey, oh yeah, he's not even on here, are they? Yeah, I guess it only works for all the uh, actual people and not uh, well, now, now I'm calling the Adventures Guild guy like not a person when I say that, but uh, where is it? Yeah, two, okay, yeah, they are open right now. Okay, so I can go over to Marlin, the Adventures Guild guy, and say, hey, uh, 
you know, I died just like five minutes ago, lost a thousand gold and lost some items. So, hey, can you go retrieve my like 40 or something like that gold star hops that are in the uh, in, in the mines real quick or, you know, the skull cavern real quick, which I assume we can because you guys said, uh, yeah, let's go to the mines. Because you guys said, you know, whether or not you die in the mines or in the skull cavern or whatever, you can still pay the adventurer's guild guy to go retrieve it. So I guess this is a good test to see if that's actually true. So let's go over here and see if we can actually pay him to. Yep, here it is right here. Hops for 18. That's actually cheap. Let's definitely do that. Don't want to pay him two gold to get a singular sap or points. I believe that the espresso is actually like more than the hops. That's actually kind of surprising considering how, you know, more much more valuable hops would be, especially Gold Star. 45 of that too. Yeah, let's do that. Gold Star hops. Get that. Boom. And uh, he's going to get it tonight and he's going to send it in the mail tomorrow morning. So that's going to be really cool, you guys. Cool. Let's just go back. It's going to be a... Uh... Do I still want to go there now? It's going to be kind of late. I, have to, I, I guess I'm going to have to spend another 500 gold, right? So do I want to do that or... Yeah, I, I guess we could. <laughs> yeah, buy another ticket for... So not only did we spend 500... Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I had to, like, push Pam out of the way. Right there. <laughs> but we had to spend 500 gold on a ticket. A thousand gold. We lost a thousand gold from dying. Five hundred gold on another ticket. Man, and then eighteen hundred right there to retrieve our hops. We're losing money like crazy, you guys. <laughs> Need to be more uh, careful about this. But yeah, let's eat some mushrooms here. We don't have the hops, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just have to spam mushrooms until we're like almost full health. But I did get some coffee, and uh, I see some worms up there. But I don't have the stuff in my inventory, right? Or is that worms? I think that's worms. Yeah, I see it's wailing left and right. Yeah, that's definitely worms right there. But yeah, let's keep eating these here, and I have so many of them. Yeah. So I basically have to eat two mushrooms to equal one gold star hops. So yeah, I definitely. And there's more worms right there, by the way. Yeah. And uh, we're basically full on energy now, right? Yep. We're basically full on energy. We're full on health. So yeah, we're good to go. I guess we'll get a miner's treat real quick. So let's do that. Uh, eat the miner's treat. There you go. Thankfully, we didn't lose any of those because that would have been valuable cargo, you guys. But yeah, let's go. And uh, hey, look at that. We spawned in a much safer area here. Cool. Are we going to come on? Oh man, a lot of uh, boulders here. This is really good for. Uh... And by the way, wow, we can break boulders and. Oh, I think you always could break boulders in three shots now I think about it, right? Yeah, I think so. And then, yeah, I'm able to... Man, these slimes have a lot of... Man! How much damage did I do right there? Like 60 to 70 damage every time I hit them. And I had to hit them like three... Or not three times, like more like 10 or 20 times right there, golly. <laughs> that was insane. And he that the way down immediately. Cool. We got some of these flying bug guys. And yeah, I don't have any uh, bombs right now, so I can't technically kill any mummies if we ever come across any of those bad boys. So that kind of sucks. And we have some more uh, of these dragon guys right here I need to watch out for. And they're... Actually kind of reminded me of the ghost, the way that they kind of back up like that every time they get hit, boom, got him in, man, speaking of boom, we actually got a bomb right there, amazing, so, yeah, if we do come across a mummy, we're able to, oh, we're actually able to straight up kill them now, so that's good, and that's actually going to count towards the Adventures Guild thing, so that's good, uh, but yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to break a bunch of stone over here manually real quick, try and find the way down again, unless I find like a hole in the ground, which I'm not seeing right now, you need a little bit of cold gold ore. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. I, I don't know if you could have holes just kind of out in the open. I guess you could, because you could have staircases just kind of out in the open. And I, I assume you could find holes also by just breaking stone normally, right? So nothing uh, too crazy there. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything right. Oh, nice. Found the way down right there. No, where is this? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some enemies. I'm getting cornered. Hold on, hold on. I'm just going to spam. I'm just going to spam. There you go. Just spamming right now. There you go. Boom. Man, the slime has way more health than the heckin' dragon thing. Like, this makes no sense. Like, look at all that damage! Golly! And then we get a white algae from him. Golly. It's like nothing. And we got another giant slime guy right there. Which I wonder if you could have a giant prismatic slime. That's kind of crazy if so. We got some more void essence. Not bad. We're doing okay on health. Might want to eat a mushroom here pretty soon. Just to kind of, you know, top ourselves off a bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm getting a little close. And then, yeah, whenever they split up into a bunch of small little uh, slimes right there, I need to be careful. I did get a diamond right there. Amazing. Oh, man, I didn't see that other uh, slime right there. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, be careful. Oh, I'm dying. Golly. These purple slimes are crazy. I need to get some better armor or something like that. Or... And then, yeah, we, we still have the magnetism, too. Okay, so it looks like the mine street lasts for like about, I'd say, five minutes. That's actually pretty good. Plus 32 magnetic range. Amazing. There you guys. I can kill the slime. There you go. Golly, found it. Finally got him there. No, uh, we got a little bit of copper ore right there. Okay, cool. I guess I just steer clear of these, like, flying bug guys. I don't think we found the way down just yet, though. And we're on, uh, only on layer three. Yeah, we're definitely, I'm like, I wasn't thinking I was going to hit layer 100 on this time. I was just coming over here mainly to test out the minus treat as well as it, you know, hopefully find some prismatic slimes. But, yeah, we're, we're probably not even going to make it down to level, like, I don't know, maybe, like, layer 10 or something like that. Hey, look at that. Finally got the way down. But, you know, the Omni Geode right there, amazing. And, uh, I guess if anything, we are getting some, uh, a good amount of stone. So if we do need that for whatever, oh, wow, I still two-shot that guy, cool. 
Uh, if we do need stone for whatever else, which I, I can't think of anything right now, uh, why we need it, but the, you know, the shed doesn't require any stone, so obviously we don't need that for that. Got a little bit of gold. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is another thing, too. Yeah, getting gold. Uh, resources in general, right? Man, I hate the slimes, how they're able to go through you like that. Golly. Uh, but yeah, let's, gra let's grab some gold and also keep our eyes peeled for anything else. I thought we'd be able to... Oh, nice. Found the way down. Awesome. Uh, but I thought we'd be able to break some of these stone, if not all of them, in just one hit with the miners uh, plus three, whatever miner that is right there. Because aren't we, like, technically, like, level 11 or whatever by now? But where are we on this? Mining, uh, no, 12, golly. Yeah, that's actually kind of surprising, you guys. Thought we'd be able to break things, but I guess that just doesn't improve your actual pickaxe. It just improves your level, which, I don't know, what does that even do, actually? I don't know. Either way, uh, a little bit of health, down a little bit on health, that is. So I guess I'll eat a little bit of food, and I guess we'll take on, uh, another one of those gigantic McDonald's Grimace guys over here, so. <laughs> as well as, to, yeah, like I said earlier, I don't know if you could, like, bust one of these gigantic slimes open, and, and they turn into a bunch of slimes. Or, well, I guess they didn't do it right there, but. If they bust into a bunch of slimes, oh nice, found the way down. Uh, if any of them could be a prismatic slime, because that's kind of why we're down here, you know, to find slimes and, you know, therefore try and, you know, do that mission. To get the prismatic jelly and whatnot, right? Uh, but yeah, getting some boulders broken over here. See if there's anything else, any ores, gold ores. Uh, I don't, I don't, know if we're, I don't think we're going to get deep. Whoa, another dragon guy right there, be careful of him. I don't know if we're going to get deep enough to actually, uh-oh, uh, find iridium. Because didn't we have to go down to like layer 20 or something like that before we started seeing like just wild iridium just out in the open? Like iridium ore? I think so. Let me just keep spamming here. Seems like it's doing, oh, it's doing an okay job as long as they don't go through you like that. Golly, spam it like crazy. And whoop, this is why I need that explosive ammo so I can kill these slimes. <laughs> Who knew that these slimes would be able to kill me like this, guys? Golly. I know, let's keep on eating these mushrooms. Just spam it. It's 8, 20 p.m. right now, so I need to be careful. And yeah, it looks like our coffee right now, so I might, or uh, espresso right now, so I want to get an espresso as well. Yeah, and drink a double shot espresso. Triple shot, that is. Get a little bit uh, more health from this. Oh, what in the world is this? Is this a chat? Yeah, get rid of that. And eat another common mushroom. Try and get a little bit more health. Because I'm going to be taking on another one of these guys over here, so, uh... There you go, try and corner him, and then just keep spamming. Boom! Nice, he didn't, uh, become a bunch of small ones right there. Awesome. But yeah, we're on layer 5 right now. We found the way down to layer 6 right here. Can we hit the level 10? I don't know. We haven't found the... A hole, like, down just yet, I don't think, right? Unless I have, and I just didn't notice it. Oh, nice, emeralds right there. Cool. Let's get that. A little bit of iron over there, too. And, uh, oh, nice, the way down. Cool. Another one of these guys right here. Omni Geode, yeah. We're not really getting, man, we're not really getting, uh, many Omni Geodes. We got, oh, wow, a lot of gold right there. Awesome. Yeah, we've got a lot of Omni Geodes at one time. Uh, I think it was whenever we had the mummies or something like that, right? The mummies and the, uh, skeletons, I think it was, that were taking on that one time. So I, I wonder if you only get Omni Geodes, or like a bunch of them, whenever you have the heckin' mummies and whatnot. Golly, they do a lot of damage. 16, like, double digit damage to me every time I do that. Golly. And be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh my gosh! I'm like pinned up against him! There you go, golly. Kill this dragon that does like no damage, apparently. Uh, and he dies in only three shots. Jeez. Let's continue getting a bunch of gold over here, especially because I do want to upgrade my other tools to gold, such as the hoe and the, the axe and all the kind of stuff, right? Uh, so there you go, cool. Uh, and I think, yeah, the scythe is already gold because we got it from the, whatever that dungeon was, right? And the, uh, the fishing rod is like iridium, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh, hey, here's the lair that we started on, like, earlier on in the day or episode or whatever, right? There you go, golly. Trying to heal up a little bit more. Man. See, this is what I'm talking about. Eating, like, a trillion common mushrooms, but I could just eat, like, half of them in hops instead. Gold star hops, that is. Uh, eat, like, one or two more, I guess I'll be good to go. Hopefully they're not a billion more slimes. Yeah, just one more, and that's good. Yeah, see, we're almost full health right now. Not bad. We can get an earth crystal right here. Boom. And, ah, oh, another dragon guy. Whoa, what is that thing? Is that a dr- is that a- uh, no, 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 dragon. Is that a dinosaur? Because you guys said something about dinosaurs, right? Oh my gosh! He's like breathing fire on me! Okay, then maybe that actually is a dragon. I don't know, because I don't know of any dinosaurs that breathe fire like that, golly! It is, I don't know, is it more dangerous than the slimes? Because the slimes are pretty, like, dangerous. Do I need some sort I feel like I need range to go up against- the, Oh my gosh, the dinosaur is burning me there. Man. Try to take on these slimes, but man, they're invincible. There you go, try and get them. Whoa! Okay, yeah, fight them. What in the world? I killed them right there. Holy heck, we got a prehistoric rib as well. That was amazing. You, like, exploded into a bunch of bones. That was kind of... That was kind of graphic, to be quite honest, golly. Anyways, uh, there you go, do some damage. or pinned up against the wall there. Just keep spamming, just keep spamming. As long as they don't jump past me, I go I'm good to go. No! Man, they jumped, like, straight towards me right there. Whoa, I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh oh, no, he's gonna jump. Oh, I got him, golly. 
Who knew that these signs were like end game bosses over here? Jeez. Anyways, yeah, we're leaving at like, I'd say 1230 or something like that. That, that should give us enough time to actually arrive back home and, I don't know, maybe take care of any other uh, house housekeeping stuff that I might, might forget about uh, before I left here, right? Uh, but yeah, overnight, remember, we get the greenhouse, so that's going to be really awesome, you guys. So, you know, keep on breaking the stones. It's layer 8 right now. It's 1110. We have a little bit of time. And, uh, oh, nice. Found the way down. Cool. Now, what are we going? Oh, nice. More gold around here. And the way down immediately. Awesome. Wow. I don't know why I keep, like, aiming the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, what was this? Oh, nice. A bunch of coal in that backpack. Awesome. So, I guess if we come back here again, and there's a backpack on the ground, it's not going to have any coal in it, or... No, I guess because it's like always randomly generated or whatever. I, I guess maybe it's still going to have coal in it. I don't know, because in, in, in the mines, like if we come across a minecart and then loot it, like every time we come across a minecart again, it's, it's empty. So that kind of sucks, right? But uh, stop emoting. Stop it. Stop. Man, I keep I keep hitting the wrong button first. Like I want to I want to eat the select the common mushroom and then hit Y. But yeah, hitting Y opens up the emote menu, I believe. Right. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything else around here. I might just go down one more layer. It's going to be layer 10. And hopefully we find some stuff before uh, 1230 or whatever when we're actually going to end up leaving. And, uh, yeah, we didn't get anything else here. Yeah, it's late. Yeah, let's just hurry up, see if there's anything worthwhile here. A little bit of gold. I'll grab that. See if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the same layer that we're just on, like, literally, like, a minute and a half ago or whatever. Right? So, you know, 1210. I, I guess we'll just break a little bit of the stone over here so we could find. Maybe, lay, lay, like, explode a bomb or something like that real quick. Hold on. Yeah, we have that bomb, so. There you go. Explode that. Ah, get the way! Am I... Oh, man, actually... I was like right outside of the radius right there. That was actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's leave the mine. Try and grab some of the items back. Boom. Uh, there you go. Cool. Yeah, sure. That that looks fine. I don't know if that's in the same order I had earlier, but uh, whatever. Let's just leave. I'm like, I literally died earlier and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah. Remember, there's worms. There's worms here. Mid. There you go. Mid clay. And there's worms over here. I saw this over here, right? Yep, right there. Uh, and eh, a little bit of stone right there. I guess I can't complain about that. Any more worms? If there are, I'm not seeing any of them. Let's leave. Yeah, let's go. We're turning back to Stardew Valley. So, yeah, so we're going to get the greenhouse fixed overnight. And then in the morning, we need to go over to Marnie, buy the pigs, because the, the, the deluxe barn should be done. So we should be able to buy pigs. Nuke is wondering where you've been. Is that a bad thing? Or I guess it's just him greeting me when I come back. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, is there anything in my inventory I need to sell real quick? I do not think so. Let me put that back up. Uh, and we got a few jobs. Oh, wow, we got some iridium. When did I get that? I didn't even notice that was in my inventory. Golly. And by the way, that prehistoric rib, did we already donate that? Oh, I guess we did. Okay, cool. We got some, like, crisp music, music playing right now. <laughs> uh, anyways, let me empty out my inventory of all this trash real quick. Oh, yeah, then I'm going to need to go grab the, uh, the cheese and the eggs, the mayonnaise, all the kind of stuff real quick and try and sell it overnight. I don't know if I'll be able to do that in time. I guess I'll look real quick. Am I going to be able to do that? I am able to move. Uh, there you go. And then no, Robin's still here at 2 a.m., 1 a.m. or something like that. Golly, that's kind of crazy. She's really dedicated. We got worms right in front of the chicken coop and a few stone right there. Okay, whatever. And, uh, be quiet. No! Be quiet going on and grab the mayonnaise. There you go. Cool. Ooh, awesome. Okay. Is there anything else I wanted to do? Uh, oh, yeah. I could have some ores right there just a minute ago. So, yeah, let's get those going, especially the gold because that takes the longest, right? So, there you go. Awesome. We have a bunch of gold going right now. It's 140. Let's, let's hurry up and sell. All the cheese, all the mayonnaise, trying to get some money back. We're mostly like losing a bunch of it earlier today, right? So there you go. And, uh, yeah, we have just a bunch of ores left right there. Okay, cool. So let's just go inside, and I guess, uh, if we have enough time, uh, 140. Oh, no, I'm out of a uh, coffee or espresso, whatever. Put that up, put that, all that up. Oh, I forgot to put the extra cheese. Okay, I can do that in the morning, whatever. I put the cheese back in the morning. Minus tree, I don't know, put that up in the fridge in the morning, whatever. I don't know, let's go to bed. Jeez, that woke me up right there. <laughs> the drum in the, in the whatever that was, the flute block, golly. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, wait, there was honey? Man, I forgot to grab the honey. Man, but hey, look at that. The Junimos are repairing the greenhouse. So I wonder what that looks like. Like, how, how big is the greenhouse, and how's it work? And look at this, day 25 of summer year two. We got about 4,000 gold overnight. That might have been how much we actually lost throughout the day, so <laughs> maybe we broke even. I don't know. But we're about to spend another, what, 20 grand, 25 grand or whatever to get the uh, auto grabber. So, yeah, uh, it'd be nice to get... Oh, man, do I not have enough money? Hold on, how much is the auto grabber? Hold on, let me pull that up. I have it pulled up again, don't I? Yeah, here, yeah, it's 25,000, so. We, we need to go over to Pierre, sell to, and then, yeah, man. Especially because we just got the greenhouse. I want to I wanted spend 10,000 to get the, uh, what's it called? The, the iridium sprinkler as well, because the sewer guy sells it today. Man, can I, I'm like, I have a lot of stuff just in, up at storage over here. I could easily get like 10 grand or whatever, right? If I just, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, this is a sewing, yeah, I don't want to do that. I, I guess I never clicked on that. So I didn't know what the sewing machine even did, right, golly? Let's put the miner's treat back up over here, I suppose. There you go. 
No, uh, little pre store grid. I don't know what to do with that. I put that up over here with all the other random stuff that we already donated. So there you go. Cheese press. Yeah, definitely need to go put that up somewhere. Uh, you know what? Let's grab some pepper popper. We haven't done anything with pepper poppers in a while, especially because I'm probably going to be harvesting some stuff today, most likely, right? Hopefully. If, if not, probably going to be hops. Oh, it's raining today. Again. I don't know if there's anything I need to get done while it's raining. And by the way, yeah, uh, because we have a bunch of ores just finished up, let's continue smelting them there. There you go. Cool. We have some stone randomly up. There you go. Put that up in the right spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep going back and forth, back and forth. We have some Omni Geodes right there. Oh, I forgot to grab the clay or uh, the jades and turn them into staircase. I, I guess it's a good thing because those would have been wasted anyways, right? Uh, we have a Railer Geode right there. I guess we just get Clint to open that, I suppose. Or, yeah, you know, just keep keep that until we have like 10 of them or something like that, and then we'll open them all at once. Kind of sucks that you can only uh, take use of that little geode glitch or whatever one at a time. And hey, yeah, here, here's Marlin giving us the uh, Gold Star Hops back, which, by the way, is, we spent 1800 to get that back. How much does it cost? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess it cost the same amount to get it back that you'd get from selling it. I thought maybe it'd be like half or a percentage of it or whatever, but no. It's one to one there, so if I sold it, it cost 1800 but I spent 1800 to get it back, so I, I feel like that's justified because that's that's pretty good stuff there, you know. I guess I'll just keep that in my inventory for a little while. Let's put the uh, mushrooms back up because we don't need that anymore. We're moving over to the hops and hopefully that's going to be pretty good, right? And, uh, is there anything? Oh, yeah. So we have more ores over here. Let's get the gold going because it takes the longest. And uh, let's get the iron next and the copper. Ba boom Awesome! And because it's raining right now, we need to make sure that the, uh, cows... Oh, yeah, no, never mind, yeah, because it's an upgraded, uh, whatever over here. Yeah, it does it automatically. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Oh, man! The pig's gonna cost a lot of money, too! Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get the... Uh, unless I... Like I said earlier, unless we sell even more money worth of stuff, I don't know. How much does a pig... I'm gonna look that up. How much does a pig cost? Because the, the goat cost it pretty... 16 grand?! So if I, if I bought the pig right now for 16 grand, and then bought the iridium sprinkler for another 10 grand, that'd be 26,000. We're, we're about 15, 1400 short, 1334 short of being able to do that. And I could do that easily by selling, I probably have a bunch of gold star stuff in storage I could easily sell and get my money back, right? Man, do I want to sell some stuff? And I'm like, I kind of want to. Then would I be even able to get that auto grabber again? Cause that's 25, I basically need 50 grand to get the, the auto grabber, the pig and the iridium sprinkler. Oh, man, because I really like that auto grabber thing. Obviously, we're going to get the pig today, right? We're getting the pig. Are we getting the iridium sprinkler, too? That's that's kind of the main question here. Because past that, getting the, uh, the auto grabber again, that's, that's a little bit too much. And I'm going to need to get the coffee down there again, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe hold on, yeah. Don't we have, like, 25 grand or whatever up in just just coffee or whatever? <laughs> hold on, yeah, let me let me go look. Hold on, how much do we have? Uh, well, that's triple shot. I could sell the triple shot espresso and get 20 grand. What? Oh, my gosh. I didn't think I had that much. And then I have regular coffee as well. How much is that going to get us? Five grand. We have 25. Okay, there it is. We found our money. So there you go. But that, that means getting rid of all of them that we have. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get rid of, I don't know, all but maybe like 10 or something like that. Like how much espresso would I need for a week until, you know, until we get our kegs back from the melons that are inside there right now? I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell all the espresso I have right now. All but, say, 15, and then we'll still keep all the coffee. So if I sold all this, we get 17 grand. Okay, cool. Then uh, we, we go over here, and we see what, like, gold star, like, coffee beans. Yeah, we get some money out of that, obviously, right? How, how much do we get out of that? Uh, okay, only 22 for each one. That's not, that's basically nothing. So <laughs> don't want to do that, obviously. Is there anything else I have up in storage I can get good money out of? By the way, I didn't put the cheese press up inside the heckin' thing like I wanted to do. Whoops, I forgot about that. Whoops. Hold on. Uh, let's put this up over here. We got some mail uh, again. Hold on. What is it? Who is this from? Jody. Ooh. Dear Waffle, I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put it to good use. Take care, Jody. That's going to be really good for the start of next season as well as the greenhouse. Yeah, you know what? What, are we, what, what, what did we say for the greenhouse? Was it the rare? Oh, yeah, it was the ancient fruit. Was it, the, was it both? I don't remember. It says some of the fall takes all season to grow. I feel like something like the rare seed... Does that work? I guess I'll look that up as well. Golly, I have the wiki just open right now. Rare seed. I guess I'll just do a control F. Greenhouse. Oh, it doesn't say anything about the greenhouse. Does I, I, I guess it works in the greenhouse. I assume greenhouse means, oh, anything that requires a season is, is going to be able to be grown inside the greenhouse year round, right? I, I, I guess I'll just look that up inside the greenhouse wiki page and see if it says anything about that. The interior of the building features a 10 row by 12 column plot of land. There, crops can be planted, grown, and harvested at any time of the year without reference to normal season restrictions. Okay, so that sounds like I could indeed plant the rare seeds in there, like year round, right? Okay, that, that that's good. I like that. Just wanted a little bit of clarification. So, rare seeds, 
We have that. We have the Iridium Sprinkler as well. We have Ancient ancient Fruit. So that would be, yeah, that's two Iridium Sprinklers. Or, no, yeah, Iridium Sprinkler does a... I don't know how many plots specifically, but it does like two 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 tiles to left, right, up, and down of it, right? Uh, let's grab the Ancient Fruit over here, too. Uh, the next season, yeah, we have the beets. We have the rhubarb and then cactus. Yeah, you guys said something about a cactus being grown in the greenhouse. I forgot what it was. Like, you, you said I need like a pot or something like that, like potted plant for this this cactus. I forget what it was specifically, but I kind of want to wait until uh, I read some comments to kind of clarify on that before I heck something up, right? <laughs> Anyways, let me go down here. Let me go put the cheese press up inside of here, as well as uh, go pet all the chickens, because I forgot to do... I, I'm pretty sure I forgot to do that, right? Uh, let's go place down the cheese press over here. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's plenty of room over here. Cool. Yep, I've already pet all them. Awesome. Then, yeah, we're just going to make our way from right to left. And then eventually get over to the green. Yeah, see, look at this. I forgot to pet all these guys. Yeah, that's going to be one thing about the auto grabber is that I'm just going to get too comfortable with the auto grabber getting all the work done. I'm going to forget about uh, petting all these guys, right? So that's going to be unfortunate. But for right now, yeah, let, let me uh, grab all the fruit over here. I'm, I'm going to have to take care of all that uh, coffee to the right uh, off camera here just a bit. But these are going to be done tomorrow. We did see during that June emo cut. Oh, wow, look at the greenhouse. Holy, that looks like physically way bigger than it did whenever it was like dilapidated, right? Or is it just me? I don't know. Uh, there you go. And is there anything else that's done over here? Unfortunately, the computer isn't working. Out. Well, there's hops done, but I guess I can grab that on the way back over to the right, right? Let's go inside the greenhouse because I'm curious. Ooh, okay, so hold on. I guess this this land over here is all I could really do anything with, right? So, uh, one, two. So I'd, I'd, be, I'd have to place down a, a sprinkler, like, say, here. Two. Yeah, like here. And one, two. And here. Right? And then one, two. And one, two. Oh, wait, no, there's going to be a strip in the middle that I can't do anything with, right? I think so. Hold on. Golly. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me, let me get the, let me, I can't really see it. There's like no reference points for me. There you go. I don't know. I don't know if we could have these, these sprinklers like next to each other like this. I do know there's like a jet or like some sort of like pressure valve or something like that. You guys that I can get like as an upgrade. Oh wait, no. Yeah, th this does work. Okay, cool. Uh, but you guys said that there's like a pressure valve or something like that as an upgrade for the sprinklers to make them shoot like an extra tile more. Uh, seems like we don't need that right here. Seems like this is good to go. You guys. Awesome. So I assume. We could put another on that corner. Maybe we could have regular sprinklers here in the middle. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about doing that uh, here in the future. But for right now, we have ancient seeds. We have uh, rare seeds as well. Rare seeds, by the way, what, what do rare seeds give you? I forgot what that even was. What is rare seeds? Like, because the ancient fruit gives you ancient fruit, right? What does the rare seed give you? I'm, I'm using this off-camera wiki quite a lot, you guys. Sweet gems. Yeah, that's what it was. I forgot about that. Yeah. But isn't that like a one-time thing? Or is it like the rare seed or the ancient fruit where like every week you, you get an ancient fruit out of it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the crop growth calendar and it looks like, yeah, if you harvest it, you have to like replant it. I assume that's what this means here. Yeah, it's not like a like like a thing where it, like like the berry bushes or whatever, or like the ancient fruit where it grows and then you just harvest it once every week. So this kind of sucks here. But at the same time, how much how much is that? Just say right there. One sweet gem berry is 3000 gold. Can I put that inside of a keg? Uh, I don't know. It does allow you. Oh, oh, it says it cannot be used in a keg or preserves jar, man. 